It's OK. So the next one we'll do is we'll do to you. So again, just like I did before, is we'll plug in a negative 2 outside of my vector, my vector u, which is 2 comma negative 1. Well, just like this is like parentheses, you're applying the basically distributive property. So you're going to have negative 2 times 2 comma negative 2 times negative 1. OK? You guys can put these in parentheses if you like. So therefore, my resultant vector is negative 4 comma 2. Would everybody agree with that? So I, I, I asked you guys to graph u. So that would have been 1, 2, negative 1, which we're familiar with. And then negative 2u is going to be negative 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Now my scaling's a little bit off. You can, you can see how I only went one here, and that one's much bigger, right? I didn't really do the best scaling. But you guys kind of see what happened when I did the negative? It went in the exact opposite direction, right? Exact opposite direction. It was actually a reflection about the origin. And then not only is it in the exact opposite direction, it's also double its length. So do you see what the scalar did? It doubled its length. Okay. 